people who don't know police language. Members of the Parliament's Health Committee met with police officials to inquire if an investigation is into the source of fake hepatitis B drugs being dispensed had been carried out. The matter of the fake drugs came into light earlier this year. The officials, led by the director, Criminal Investigations Chris Akulo, revealed that nobody has been arrested in this particular case. And what is before the director of public prosecutions are past cases. Case reference E058, stock 218, is before DPP. We have not yet effected any arrest. It does not give me an impression that is going to be anything that we shall benefit from these people. And the committee shall not even have a base to start from to fight this fight. Maybe I would request for them to tender in the information that they came with here that they are trying to share with us because they knew this issue before they came here. Police, however, faulted the National Drug Authority for failing to notify them about the counterfeit vaccines on time so that they could arrest the suspects, dispensing or selling them. But now someone brands drugs, nothing is done, and then you come here and talk about the judicial officer. Uh, why don't you use the same energy and force? At police, we don't have the pharmacies to go out there to check whether they are fake drugs in the, in the pharmacies or drug shops. So it is incumbent on National Drug Authority to inform us. I have tried to read some sections of the laws of National Drug Authority, and I am seeing the sentence being very light. The committee members have now directed police officials to return on Tuesday with the Inspector General of Police, Martin Okotho Chola. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.